to start the timer? Just go. Alright, <laughs> yeah, so my full name, Michael Scott Butler, also known as Mike B, by my friends. Born March 28th, 1983, I'm 35 years old. Um, here's a picture of me and my wife, Candy. She's from Argentina, down at Panther Beach. There's me as a chubby little baby. My uh, older sister, Julie. A um, little bit of my family information there with my dad. Um, so here shows kind of my journey across the planet. I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My dad worked for a brass company and in the oil fields, moved to Chicago, Virginia Beach, uh, Rancho Cucamonga, and back to Virginia Beach. And at the age of 12, in seventh grade, I moved across the Atlantic to France. And I lived in Lyon, France for two years. I went to a private Catholic school for a year and an international school for a year. And I did high school in the Swiss Alps in Lausanne, Switzerland. Uh, so here's uh, the private Catholic school that I went to on the left and the international school on the right. Um, that was designed by an artist who wanted to make it look like a shipwreck, like grass on the roof of the gym. Um, so yeah, two years in France and then moved to the Swiss Alps. This is Lausanne, Switzerland, just a little village tucked away. Um, you can kind of see the, the ski resort up, at, up in the background there. And I did four years there of high school. There's another view of the village. You can see on the bottom left that big building was my dormitory. And then in the background from that, after high school, after graduation, I moved to the next mountain you can see in the background. Lemos. <laughs> <laughs> and I worked for a Swiss cheese maker, milking cows making cheese for a summer. And then I journeyed my way back, moved around. There's a picture of me and my wife. There was supposed to be a picture right here of uh, us at the, at the Bunny Hill where we met at Alpine Meadows. So my journey led me back to Lake Tahoe, kind of my love for snowboarding. I worked at Alpine Meadows for eight seasons. Um, there's a picture of a really good day, I think. I hit this jump and then just blew up on the landing. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got There's me in a contest at Kirkwood. Um, I didn't place, but it was a lot of fun. And when the snow melts, it's time to go back to work. So I had a lot of fun in the winter time. And uh, in the summertime, I worked for a huge outfit painting company in Lake Tahoe called Sierra Rainbow Painting. There's their fleet of trucks parked in the yard at the shop. I hope these came up. All right, sweet. Yeah, so here is Walt. He's the owner of Sierra Rainbow Painting. And my good friend Sterling, they're out on the sailboat in Lake Tahoe having a great time. And then my first supervisor I worked under Frank Lamarck, found that picture on the internet. He's a really great guy. We still talk a lot. Legend, that guy right there. And just some of the work that uh, I did in Lake Tahoe. There's kind of a European cabin chalet look on this Red Wolf Lodge. We did some bigger commercial stuff. There's the village at Squaw. We had some heavy equipment to get up in those higher elevations. And yeah, technical difficulties. There was a before picture, and then here's the after. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> wow! So this is a, a Victorian up in Boulder Creek. I think there is a better before picture, right? I don't know. That's an after picture. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, some of the awesome. detail of, of the work that you. Crazy color scheme, if you ask me, but <laughs> each their own. And then here is on the west side of another exterior. There's a before and after of a pretty blue house. Um, 
and at UCSC, this is a little masterpiece project that I did. The gray is a primer coat, and then the starter board on the roof, on the ceiling, is a black color that I sprayed, and then you can't see the last one, so. <laughs> Put it there. Yeah, so that's uh, more work. And eventually, I worked for a company called Machado Bros for five years here, and that led to me getting my license. My first major investment was this blue man. My friend Jesse and the excavator as we put the ladder rack on. Little 12-year-old Jason supervising right there. And, um, yeah, so I expected that to go take a lot longer. <laughs> With less pictures, it took less time. But uh, that's kind of it. Where'd you get your blue man? If anybody has any questions, yeah. I bought it from a dealership. It was PG&E, man. Oh, it was already blue. It was blue, yeah. So you didn't Perfect color. No, I didn't paint that. Sometimes I get calls asking me if I paint a bus or something. <laughs> they see me driving around. Are you doing everything yourself? Or do you stuff out? Or do you have help at all? I have some help. And uh, I just, I'm working with a company who just got me signed up for a workers' compensation policy. I'm looking to hire a part-time employee in the next few weeks and with some uh, bigger jobs in the pipeline. I feel like it's time to keep moving. Yeah. Okay, Mike, what, what inspired you to go out on your own? Uh, pretty much uh, just kind of, you get topped out in the labor force. And, uh, yeah, so that's where the money is. How do you need your uh, so my boss kind of, they, they, my old bosses were Tony and Sean Machado, their brothers, and uh, it's kind of a unique situation where, where uh, having two bosses that you know, sometimes argue, and they, they pushed me to get my license, and then as soon as I got my license, I just kind of uh, started getting a different attitude from them about it where it didn't seem like it was gonna we would have like the type of working relationship that was discussed before and and uh, yeah they kind of tease you and taunt you like you want to test the waters go ahead There's so many companies out there that are just, you know, your last name. What's Butler, it's, my last name is Butler, and it's kind of a common name. I mean, it also would be a good business name, but yeah, I chose Killer Well Painting as my business name. And uh, kind of like Jenny with Blue Heron. And, yeah. Mike, do you do full finishes? I've uh, done like a... Riverstone faux finish before. It was like a Ralph Lauren paint. Um, I have a friend who does that as a specialty. But it's something that I look into here and there. I get asked sometimes to do stuff like that. I did an American flag on my friend's kids' wall in their room. And, you know, and stuff here and there. Yeah, what do you got? Selfish question. Uh, do you do uh, deck? Stripping and, and uh, staining and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Do yeah. I, when I lived in Lake Tahoe, it was every most everything was stained. It was a lot of stain. And uh, yeah, I work with my paint rep to figure out the best materials and what's gonna last the longest. Uh, the deck staining involves a lot of maintenance time, so yeah, it's good to get the best materials on there. Mike, how's that mural project going? Uh, they, for the they, they did not um, they did not award me the mural project, but I did have some time and I made some little examples and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Like so, I'd have you know some kind of ocean creature and then a quote. So the whole idea, if anybody doesn't know, is like the city of Santa Cruz was commissioning an artist to make a mural on the sidewalk around the storm drains to keep the community aware that anything that goes down there goes in the river, goes in the ocean. And uh, so I had a little pelican, and said, a pelican can't stand trash. <laughs> <laughs> I had a uh, you know, killer whale, <coughs> pollution is the ale of the whale. Um, I had one in Spanish. Let's see what else did 
that I have, I had that. Oh yeah, don't make beef with the reef. <laughs> like no things like that. You, know, you, you, ought to, you ought to pick up your trash. Or, you know, nice. Yeah, little stuff like that. So I do have, I like to add a little creative touch. Like, I like to move, that's been one of my goals is to do a mural. And there are definitely other projects with the Santa Cruz Arts Council that come up and post those, call the artists. Yeah. It was kind of a last minute thing, so I just threw it out there. I do have a contact that does color consultation. Uh, that's a tricky one. You know, it's hard to get a feel for what people want. Your your resident stager can also help with color. Oh, can you? <laughs> That's, yeah. that's part of my business is the interior Well, you design. can take over. <laughs> 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 I'm happy to help with the color. Okay, yeah, I'll give you a call if anything comes up. You can talk to Nicole about it. She can't figure oh, the sure. color out. Is that 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs>